bowl eligible for the first time in, in your career, that has to feel pretty good. What what was going through your mind after KJ made that pick? Oh, when KJ made that pick, it was just like, oh, my emotions just came flowing over. Uh, some relief that the game was finally in hand, but just the culmination of a lot of hard work. I just felt so happy for these guys, um, for the guys that put in a lot of time, for all the seniors. It was just a great feeling to know that we're going bowling. What changed over the last month or so? Because a lot of teams could have mailed it in at three and six, but not you guys. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if anything even changed. It's just we found a way to win. Uh, we didn't change our process. Coach Lewis talked about we did things the right way. We were just needed to make that big play here and there, and we finally started making those. Uh, we didn't turn on each other. We bought in more. We stayed tighter together as a group. Uh, it's just a family there, and you're fighting for your brothers when you're fighting like to stay alive and to keep everyone come together. You fight a lot harder. All right. Well, you you've been here. You're one of the elder statesmen here. Make. Make your pitch to be bowl eligible. I mean, this is a team right now that we're going to give it everything we got. Our games have all been close. We've got the toughest non-conference schedule, I mean, of anybody. And we fought with the big dogs, and we came out here with bowl eligible. There's nobody better than Dustin Crum at quarterback, in my opinion. He's out there. He's going to make plays, and our defense is going to go out there, and we're going to play tough. We're going to have a lot of fun. We'll put up some points on the board, and we'll have, give a great show if we get to a bowl game. All right, thanks, man. Appreciate, right, appreciate it. it. Thanks, guys. Here. What, were, what were you seeing from, uh, from Glass there? Well, the first one, we do two minutes every Wednesday, so we practice every Wednesday. And um, I was holding my man. I was holding it for the zone, and I see them throw, and I just made a play. I stuck my arm out there, made a play for the team. I mean, kind of what when, what's kind of when you make that pick? What's kind of going through your mind as you're sprinting down the field with your with your brothers that there? That last one, man, I blacked out. I just knew he was going bowling, man. <laughs> it was crazy. So obviously, um, Jamal leaves the game. You guys need to step up. Just kind of talk us through that 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 second half when you guys kind of rose to the occasion missing one of your leaders out there. Jamal was a big loss. Um, after we lost the little game, he texted the chat. We were all mad. He said, hey, lock in. We're going 6-6. Six and six. We were 3-6 and six at the time. He said we're going 6-6. Six and six. Lock in. He left the game. That's a big um, alpha on our team. He left the game. So we just said we need somebody else to step up, and I just made the play at the end. Okay, well, take us through what it means to you to have one of your best games in one of the biggest games in school history. It means the world, man. Mm -hmm. I know. I did it for the seniors, man. We need to go bowling, man. I just play to have a game. Cool. We appreciate your time. Congratulations on the great game. Thank you. Dustin, first and foremost, uh, congratulations. You did it more with your, leg, your legs than your arm today. Kind of talk us through that, that game plan and uh, using your mobility to their, your advantage here today. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's just kind of when the opportunity presents itself, try to take advantage of it and things like that. Uh, I mean, we should have, in my opinion, I feel like we should have got after him a little more in the air. I felt like we left some things out there and did some things, but, I mean, at the same time, you kind of just have to take what they're giving us, which is what we tried to do. And, I mean, it, we ended up on the right side of it, so whenever that happens, you're happy. Kind of take us through that second touchdown run. It looked a little bit of a, like a broken play, and you kind of just yeah. made magic happen again. Uh, I mean, yeah, that wasn't exactly the play design. Uh, <laughs> I kind of bobbled the snap a little bit at first, which uh, kind of ruined the timing of the play a little bit. And so then at that point, I just tried to uh, create and see what I could do and ended up in the end zone. Kai, take us through that kind of that game plan in that second half where you guys used the, the running game more to your, your advantage than yeah. kind of airing it out. Was that just something you saw of the Eastern Michigan secondary and the defense today? Yeah, I mean, they definitely uh, kind of were making us earn it up front and run the ball a little bit, and they were doing some things to – try to get over top and uh, not let us throw deep balls and other things like that. So we definitely uh, try to take advantage of that and things like that. But I mean, they did a good job mixing it up. And um, it was really good to see us kind of establish a drive there at the end and run the clock out. Well, congratulations. We'll let you go celebrate with the teammates, man. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. All right, Coach. Well, first and foremost, uh, kind of an opening statement. A uh, bit of congratulations are in order. Uh, yeah, I mean, the kids did a tremendous job. Uh, you know, and I just told them in the locker room all the things and all the ways that we've challenged them from the very beginning to be resilient, to see it through, and, and I'm really, really proud of them. Uh, to, to finish this season the way that we did and to be peaking and playing our best ball at the right time, you know, that's what being an Alpha is all about. They did that. They found a way to win. We made it a little bit more interesting than you'd like in the second half, but you know what? At the end of the day, a win's a win. We'll take it. We're at six. And, uh, you know, we're a pretty attractive and a pretty fun and exciting football team, you know, and hopefully we get another opportunity here at the end of the day to, you know, put all our goals on and, and, and go to work in the bowl game here. Kind of take us through that last drive. You, you lean on uh, Joshim Bangda a, a little bit. Uh, just talk about the luxury, the, the reason behind that move and the kind of the luxury you have to have a, 
a, a kind of a fresh back to be able to to ride like that. Yeah, I mean, well, the, the move was kind of made out of necessity. Uh, Will and Xavier got a little bit banged up, and Joshim, you know, again, we kind of talked about it earlier in the week, right, with some of our backups who have stepped up throughout the course of the year that you got to be trained, you got to be ready because you don't know when the opportunity is going to come. That was his opportunity. Uh, we pride ourselves on being one of the best staffs in the country in situational football. We practice it all the time. So that's four-minute offense. We got to bleed the clock. Got down there, got points, knew that that would make it an, uh, an eight-point game. Um, and, and and in doing so, took all their timeouts off the board as well. So really got what we got, you know, got what we got done and what we wanted to get accomplished there. Did a great job with ball security. And then obviously KJ coming up with a huge play, you know, which is why he was earned a single digit throughout the course of the year for those big time plays. Kind of talk us through that because you lose a leader in the secondary in that second half and then talk about your guys stepping up, especially KJ and those guys that not the easiest thing to do. Yeah, I, I, again, right? I mean, it, it's it's being trained, it's being prepared, and, and when your number is called upon to you want the ball to come your way and to seize those moments, to seize those opportunities. For, for KJ to make the play at the end of the first half, to give the offense the ball back and for us to go down and, and get points there is absolutely huge. And then obviously for him to, to be in the right spot at the right time and doing what he's coached to do and what he's trained to do, and again, to make the play, you know? I mean, that's the, that's the difference. And elite players, when the ball comes their way, they, they embrace that, they welcome it, and, and they make the play that can change the game the way that KJ did, uh, and it's really, really cool to see. Now, kind of take us through um, that, that secondary because, as Glass, Glass you've kind of mentioned, is one of the toughest, if not the toughest, quarterback in in the MAC. Just being able to limit him and shut him down and make some plays down the stretch. Yeah, I mean, he, Glass is a really, really good player. Um, you know, and, and he's done a lot this season and, and has really given opposing defenses a, a really tough time. Um, you know, and obviously there was times where he got the better of us today. But again, our kids made the necessary adjustments, continued to fight, and again, showed the resiliency that they've shown all year long. And uh, because of that, we got some of our better players in the back end. Elvis, you know, stepping up when Jamal goes down. Obviously, we mentioned. KJ, you know, uh, Mario Nunez stepping up, you know, a true freshman coming in playing some meaningful, meaningful snaps. Um, you know, I'm really proud of all those guys. Keen Peters, you know, playing a huge role in the back end. Um, so just a total group effort, you know, good job by the D-line up front, you know, really not letting Glass get comfortable all day. And even though it doesn't show up as, uh, you know, the number of sacks, if you would, but they really affected the quarterback, which is great. Now, KJ makes that pick. Your, imme your immediate reaction that you can – comfortably say to the media <laughs> <laughs> uh, when he got the pick it was all right we need 12 personnel here because we still got to secure this snap and, and you know it's one of those deals to where uh we, we got an old advantage that it, the game's not done until we're in club dub celebrate so wanted to secure that thing the right way win with class win with respect our kids are first class kids you know and then bring the party into the locker room and we had a lot of good fun in there now last question um uh, three and six to six and six a lot of teams could have mailed it in you guys didn't make 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 your pitch as to uh, why we should be playing in in a few weeks. I, I, you'd be hard pressed to find a more exciting team that's playing their best ball, that finished the year three and zero, that has as many weapons and as many personalities as we do. Our fan base is eager to travel, so if you're on the bowl committee, if you got a bowl city and you want your town play, painted blue and gold, invite the Flash Fast family of Kent State. We'll come and we're gonna have a good time and we're gonna celebrate the right way and a great season by our kids. Um, it just shows the resiliency that is Northeast Ohio and, and, and the state of Ohio and the football that we have. So, you know, hopefully one of two wins that will happen in the great state of uh, Michigan for an Ohio team this week. Thanks, Coach. We appreciate you. Go Flashes! <laughs>